You may have seen the very recent announcement regarding the new Nikon 58mm f1.4 lens. I'm going to be straight with you. At first glance, I said to myself, what the hell is Nikon thinking? <laughs> Many of us have our nifty 50 that we rely on both for DX and FX Nikons, and the focal length is only a bit different. For FX, 58mm is very close to what is considered to be normal perspective. And for DX, the field of view is equivalent to about 87 millimeters. That is extremely close to 85 millimeters, which is really the gold standard for portraits. Nikon did a few clever things here. For starters, they produced a lens which is fantastic in low light and, according to their announcement, extremely crisp while handling light sources and other challenges very well. Also, the nine blade aperture is stellar for portrait backgrounds. But let's go deeper into Nikon's mind and analyze what they really did here. With this FX prime lens, they have created a superb portrait lens for DX cameras, which many of us Nikon shooters have, while also giving us a normal lens for FX bodies, which many of us are slowly migrating to. They gave us a lens that is excellent for either sensor format. Oh, let's add a third dimension too. This acts very much like a 150 millimeter lens on my Nikon V1, which we'll call moderate telephoto, at f1.4. Nikon knows you figured out that lenses can be far more important than the camera body. Sure, they'd love to sell you a new D5300 or a D610. The truth is, they don't know which body you will buy, if any, but they do know that this lens could be a phenomenal go-to prime lens for either sensor format. So it was smart as anything for them to make it because it really is two optimal lenses in one tidy package. If you're on DX, you have a lens that is perfect for portraits and headshots. And if you decide to pick up an FX camera at some point, you have a normal lens that opens up to f1.4 while producing fantastic images. They have figured out that your lenses can get in the way of you going from a DX camera to that new FX camera. So they've given us a lens that will bring you incredible value with either format. Oh, and telephoto at f1.4 with my little V1 too. Is there one prime lens to rule them all? Not necessarily, but if I could only have one prime lens in my bag, this might very well be it. This is the essence of a perfect prime lens, whether you're talking DX or FX. Is this lens for you? It might be. If you already have a 50 millimeter lens, you may want to wait and see how the quality of this new lens turns out, particularly at the widest apertures. Nikon is positioning this lens as a modern classic. I have a suspicion that even at f1.4, this new lens is gonna maintain a high degree of sharpness. If it does, many other lenses of similar focal length might instantly become obsolete. On DX, where you're already using the sweet spot of the lens, this is going to be amazing for portraits. If you don't already have a 50 millimeter lens or a portrait solution that you love for your DX or your FX camera, this new kit on the block is extremely worthy of your consideration.